In this GIMP beginners tutorial I will show you how to color splash or colorize a black and white image. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I'm going to assume you have little or no knowledge of working in GIMP. So once you've opened GIMP up, the first thing you need to do is bring an image in. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either come up to File, top left, and then left click on Open, and then navigate to the place where you have your image stored and then left click on open or as I prefer to do with a lot of these things you can go into your file browser select the image and just drag it into GIMP okay this is a publicity shot of Jane Mansfield which is in the public domain okay so if you're going to use an eraser on GIMP and um, work in color. Um, one of the things you need to do is just check well, there's two things you need to do. Come to the top of the screen and first of all left click on image and next to mode make sure it's set at RGB. If not just left click on RGB and come back up to the top and then in layer next to transparency left click add alpha channel if you don't do this the eraser won't work so transparency add alpha channel okay now I'm gonna only do a few colors um, so what you'll need to do is duplicate this image in this section here to the right so come along the bottom sort of this box here and what you're looking for is something that says create a duplicate of the layer and add to the image left click on this as many times as you want making sure that you've got enough images for the amount of colors you're going to use I probably won't use all these but you can just keep clicking on it until you've got something to work with okay so what I'm going to do now is just make sure the top one top image is selected by left clicking on it. Now to zoom in and out on GIMP you need to hold down control and then roll your middle mouse and then to reposition your image you hold down your middle mouse button and then you can move your mouse and reposition your image. Okay. So let's put some color over this whole image. Come up to colors, left click, and what you're looking for is something called colorize. Left click on this. And by default it'll give it this sort of blue tint. If you left click in the color bar, you'll find that you've got different options of changing the color. Now I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail. For this particular um, image I'm going to slide this bar up till it's red and you can change the amount of color you want, how dark it is, you can do what you want with it. So in fact let's change it slightly to I don't know, let's work with this color. Once you're sort of happy with the color you want to work with, left click on OK and then OK again. Now each of these images to this right hand side have an eye. So if you leave the top one selected but just left click on all of the eyes, what this will do is make these images not visible. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Come over to the tool select and look for the eraser. It'll say eraser tool 
and left click on this and you've got some options here as you've probably never done this before what I would do to start with is just take this up this opacity up to a hundred percent now you've got you can change the size I won't bother with any of these you can change the size by moving this bar so you get a bigger or larger size eraser you can also down here or you can do it up here as well select a different kind of eraser now I'm going to select this one here which has got a solid sort of edges for now and this one is say hardness 100 and I'll increase the size and what I'm going to do is just cut out around the mouth by holding my left mouse button down now the, a good way to work with the eraser is actually doing it a bit at a time so hold your left mouse button down and just gradually work around the area you're going to be working with if at any point you make a mistake hold down control followed by Z or Z and this will correct it and this is another good reason why you want to do little bits at a time okay I'm going to work with this if you hold down control and ro roll your middle mouse again and then increase the size of your eraser and just literally wipe away the remaining area and as you can see here I've made a mistake so I'm going to press control Z again and this is another reason why it pays to do small parts at a time okay so I'm happy with that and now what I'm gonna do is make the image beneath the top one visible by left clicking where the eye is okay if you hold down control in your middle mouse again zoom in until you get a reasonably good view of the area you're working with and hold down your middle mouse to center up the view and this time I'm going to change the eraser so I'm going to go for this one here which has got uh, faded edges and this should say something like hardness 0 to 5 and I'm going to change the size again make sure that the opacity is set at 100 and then gradually a bit at a time erase the remaining area around the mouth in this instance I'll come back to this when I finish like I said a bit at a time if you try and do it too quickly if you make a mistake it makes it easier to hold down control Z so just do little bits like I said I'll come back to this when I've finished around this area here okay well once you're happy with the area you're um, working on I'm going to just finish the inside here and sometimes it pays just a click rather than hold your mouse button down so I'll just very quickly raise this area here this won't be perfect because I'm going to rush through this
he can come back to this and uh, finish off as well by selecting the area you want to work with I think that will do for now OK, control all your middle mouse so you can see the image you're working with yeah, let's do it a little bit more work here but uh, these tutorials can take some time and people lose interest so what I'm going to do now is select the next image down come up to colorize again and then or color and then select colorize and again as we did before left click on the color bar and find a color that sort of matches a skin color so I don't know let's go for something like this change it a little bit that'll do for this tutorial you can see what I'm sort of trying to achieve OK left click on OK and OK again so with this second one selected hold down control and your middle mouse and because you've already cut away this area here you don't need to be so careful with the teeth so I'm going to just select the eraser again and increase the size just a bit and I can cut this away you won't see the teeth because I forgot to select the image on the right but we can do that in a minute okay third one down just left click where the eye is um, you can do that anyway um, before cutting away this area again so that's fine I'm reasonably happy with that yep looking reasonably good like I said the mouth's not quite right I might go back and just retweak that in a minute um, okay so next colour and it's literally a matter of working down so I'm going to just hide the two top images, select the third one down, come back to colour again, and then colourise. Oh, I'm sure Jane Mansfield didn't have blue eyes, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to increase this to blue. Uh, I think that'll do. Left click on OK and OK again. So, if you reselect the images that you're, uh, you've worked with, these I select buttons, you've already cut out for the teeth on the orange color this one here that you can see so just select third one down and again hold down control and your middle mouse to zoom in or roll your middle mouse select the eraser and again because of the mouth you don't need to be too picky and again I should have selected this one underneath sorry we can just quite quickly erase that area there okay so let's do the eyes select the second or the one of the first one that you've colorized and reposition control with the middle mouse and sort of get yourself somewhere where you can see 
the eyes reasonably well. Okay, change the size of your brush if needs be or your eraser and gradually cut away the image. I'm going to do this quite quickly. Okay, what does that look like? It's not too bad. Okay. Now I'm going to select the third image down. Make sure that the uh, next one down is selected. That's what I forgot a few times. And control and middle mouse, zoom in, middle mouse reposition. And because you've cut a hole in this one, you don't have to be too careful on the blue. Um, image you just gradually work around like I said bit at a time sometimes it pays to take your time and obviously I'm rushing this because okay well, first to admit that's not perfect and obviously you will need to work further down maybe add more images if you want to colorize the rest of this image I've only done this tutorial as a quick sort of uh, option or a quick way of colorizing or putting a color splash to an image don't look too bad so all we need to do now I'm not going to go any further is top of the screen left click on file what you want to do is look for export as left click on this decide where you're going to save your image so let's save it on the desktop and we'll give it a title I don't know I'm going to just be very quick with this. I'm going to just call it JM. And you'll also need to, and I can't see for the life of me where it is. Oh, yes, select file by type. Forgot that. And you've got options here where you can change the um, format. I'm going to go JPEG, that'll do. And then left click export. And you've got a few options here quality, let's take it right up to 100. Wouldn't change any of these. And just left click export. And you should have a partially colorized image. Like I said, you, the more you work, always work down. Obviously, you have to cut through each individual image. Hair can be a bit fussy. Um, you'll never do each individual um, strand, but you can do it again by using these. Um, edge fades um, and just work through the image like that or if you just want a partially colorized image this is probably good enough 
Hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.